Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Ron Wong here. Uh, Bill Cooksey in studio. Over here. And Larry Ray is roaming the countryside in Colorado. Out in the mesas and valleys and And, and I hope he's and enjoying himself and, and being stress-free. Uh, he's celebrating his uh, 50th wedding anniversary, which is coming up shortly, but he had an opportunity to go out west uh, with his sweet wife, Miriam, and, uh, you know, I hope they're having a good time. Judging from Facebook, I think they are. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, isn't that a great way to keep up with people? And, <laughs> yeah, I think just judging from Facebook while we're on that, this next guest has a pretty good time as well. Hey. That's Linda Powell from Mossberg. That's right. I was getting ready to say, why don't you introduce our next <laughs> guest? Well, how's it going, Linda? I'm doing great this morning. Well, where have you been traveling recently? Uh, most recently, you might have seen me in Alaska. That's it. That's it. Tell us about that hunt. I want to hear about it. Oh, uh, it was it was incredible. Actually, it was kind of a repeat. I, I went last uh, October trying to uh, get a brown bear, and we had all kinds of things that interrupted the hunt. Uh, a little bit of weather. The uh, Alaska Air National Guard dropped in on us, so we had to shorten the hunt. So. Wow. This was uh, a chance to go back and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, get that brown bear. And we had an incredible trip uh, with, with one other gentleman, John Snow, who's with Outdoor Life. And uh, he got his bear on the first afternoon, and I got mine on the second morning. So a uh, 10-day hunt, we were done in about a day and a half. <laughs> wow. And now up there, you don't just drive home when you're done. <laughs> No, not exactly, but uh, we got to enjoy a few more days in camp, and they, they did come in and get us a float plane and came in and got us out a few days early. But neither one of us were complaining about enjoying the beautiful scenery, a little fishing, and uh, uh, just being away from everything. Right. Now, were you up there testing some things for Mossberg? Or? I, I was. I actually had a brand-new rifle, our Patriot bolt-action rifle, and uh, we were shooting the three seven five Ruger, which is – actually a first for Mossberg as well. We've not chambered anything in, in truly that big game caliber. And so we uh, we had a laminate version of the gun with uh, our Marine Coat uh, protective finish, which was ideal for the conditions there in Alaska. It It is rugged country and big animals. Uh, no, no kidding. <laughs> you know, of course, we're, down here in West Tennessee, uh, white-tailed deer is about the roughest thing we have to encounter. But uh, I think y'all have that Patriot rifle in something for our folks around here, don't you? We do. We, uh, you know, actually when we introduced it, we 63 new models, uh, 11 different calibers, and we have walnut versions, just a a classic, uh, you know, look. We have synthetics, laminates, youth versions, uh, but calibers, everything from 22, 250, 243 on up to the, the 375 Ruger. And uh, I was really excited when we introduced this rifle because being an avid hunter, um, for me, this is just a true classically styled hunting rifle. And the minute I picked it up, I I looked at the engineers and I said, oh, we've got this right. (laughs) Good deal. I I think you and I have both been around this for a while, and I I see all this new stuff and I can appreciate it, but I, I love the look and feel of just a traditional rifle. And it seems like that's getting harder to find. It is, but it's interesting. The reason that Mossberg brought this to the marketplace is we actually were listening to our customers. You know, our sales team came in and said that people were saying there was a true interest again in classically styled walnut stock guns. And, um, and, and, you know, I think that's true if you go into any retailer right now and you look, kind of the black gun craze has has, uh, been hot for the last few years, and, and all the guns have been you know, synthetic, more tactical in nature. And I think we're kind of coming full circle again where people appreciate true classically styled, you know, a traditional look hunting gun. That's awesome to hear. Uh, I I don't even own a a synthetic stock rifle, but it's all I see anymore. (laughs) Either. (laughs) No, to to Ron, anything other than a a graphite fishing rod is odd. This is true. This is true. (laughs) Well, Linda, where are you going to be going next? Because I love keeping up with your travels. Oh, 
<laughs> well, next trip, uh, I'm kind of still be a wet kind of tundra environment. I'm going to Newfoundland for moose oh, wow. and caribou. So uh, that's we'll got to be, be fun. Yeah, be shooting the Patriot there. Um, so I'm very excited about that. It's been quite a few years since I've been there, and I, I have always had a little struggle with moose. That's been the one that's kind of eluded me. I've I've uh, I've not really gotten a great moose, so maybe maybe this will be the opportunity. Oh, that is going to be so awesome. Now, is that another one for the 375? No, actually, I'm going with the 308, which some people may think that's been undergone, but I've shot the 308 quite a bit, and, uh, you know, with some of today's really premium bullets, I have uh, great confidence in that. I've, I've taken elk with it, some African game, um, but I, I just think it's a good all-around solid uh, caliber. Right. That is so awesome. I, I just pulled you up on Facebook. And, you haven't uh, been following her on Facebook? Well, no, but and, and so I'm I'm doing a friend request. But, <laughs> but i got to tell you something. That is an awesome, awesome animal that, on your profile picture there, that zebra. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's got to be that's got to be exciting, though, uh, to be able to to go out and and all of these areas throughout the world. You know, it's been truly life-changing for me. I, I tell people they're kind of surprised I didn't grow up hunting and shooting. I actually started in my late 30s, and I have just found a true passion and love for it. And, and the greatest part of it is just getting out and enjoying, as you said, the outdoors, whether it's in your own backyard or, in my case, I've been very fortunate, blessed to, uh, you know, be in the industry where I get to travel. And you know, every place I go, I'm just amazed by by the beauty and nature uh, and and what surrounds us. And I really feel sorry for people who don't get out and appreciate it. Absolutely, that, that is that's terrific. I just I did not realize you didn't grow up hunting. No, no, I because it's shot, so natural to you. <laughs> well, you, you know, and one of the things here at Mossberg, there's over sixty models. Um, just available. of the Patriot rifle. Yeah, right. Of the yep. Patriot. Wow, that is so awesome. Maybe I can find one that'll fit me. You I can. bet we could find one. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to get Ron hunting yet. <laughs> he wants to eat it all. He just I love to eat and cook it. Oh, so. that's isn't that the best part of it? Well, I don't know. You know, I I do enjoy the outdoors though, um, and oftentimes, you know, I have gone to watch and to shoot video of like deer hunts or, mm -hmm. or I don't do turkeys because I'm not going to crawl around and, <laughs> and everything else. <laughs> but it's, you know what, there's something about being out in the woods and being in the outdoors that everybody should enjoy. Absolutely. Yes. I, I agree. I, you know, that's what I tell people, you know, when they say they're so envious of my job. And a lot of times they're referring to, you know, the opportunities to, to hunt and the trophies you bring home. But, you know, I tell them, no, it's not that at all. It's the, the experience of what you see in the wild um, and, and, the, and different cultures, you know, even just across the country. Uh, enjoying the, the local flavor uh, is such a big part of the hunt as well. Oh, it really is because, you know, people that hunt – for deer, let's say, in, in, in the south here. They do it totally different in Texas. They do it totally different up north. Oh, you know, absolutely. And, and everything else. And ducks. I mean, and, and, and just being around different people. I mean, you know, I'll go to Louisiana duck hunting with Cajuns, and uh, <laughs> two months before I was in Canada, you know, with, with those folks. Sure. Ending their sentences with A. <laughs> and it's amazing to be in those different cultures. And it, you're doing the same thing, but it, it's just different people. And, you know, I think it, it's incumbent upon all of us to continue to try to encourage our younger generations to try the outdoors and, and to enjoy what And that segue is right here us. to Mossberg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say that is a big part of Mossberg's philosophy, you know, family-owned company. Uh, and they've always believed uh, in providing affordable products, but also products that fit youth. Uh, you know, because I think the key to getting anyone involved is to make hunting and shooting fun and enjoyable, and a big part of that is making sure that the firearm fits. Um, you know, it's a lot more pleasurable to shoot if you have a gun that fits you properly, it's chambered in the right caliber gauge. And we actually have a separate youth catalog that has over 40 different guns that 
we've built, not just shortening the length of pull, but actually the dimensions of the guns are, are such that they are designed for the younger shooter. That's my, my son's first shotgun was a Mossberg. Wow. And this year we passed it on to a friend of mine's son. It's going to be his wait, first wait, gun. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You could have passed it on to me. <laughs> Ron, believe it or not, this is too small for you. <laughs> no, it's not. I promise you. <laughs> I'm a little guy. and this They make guns that, a child, that are built for a child to actually hold, not just a short stock. Yep. The, the dimensions are right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where can people learn more about the Mossberg line? Oh, sure. Please check out our website. It's www.mossberg.com. Go there for latest promotions. We're running some right now on our waterfowl guns, so be sure to check that out. A uh, complete line of products there on display, but also we have some informational blogs and videos, so lots of things there on our website. Very cool. Very cool. I might have to look at that myself. I need a new waterfowl gun. Give me a call. <laughs> you, you always need a new gun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, I have to tell you, all of us outdoors people, you know, what, whether we're hunting or we're fishing, you never have enough toys. That's true. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, Linda, thank you so very much for being with us this Saturday morning. And we'll get on Mossberg and check out the new, lot, the new firearms. Thank you guys so much. I really enjoyed it. All right. Have a wonderful Saturday. Wow. Uh, Linda's to, awesome. She's been in this business so you, long. You, everyone knows her. Now, really, how would you like to have her job? <laughs> yeah, you, you know, would. well, that's how we cross paths. I was yeah, doing the right. same thing for Avery, so we did a lot of work together over the years. Yeah, right, right. So cool. But listen, uh, you, you know, and, and to be able to talk to somebody that's so passionate mm-hmm. about the outdoors and about the, the hunting industry. It's unbelievable. She loves every minute of it. You oh, can she, tell it. You can tell just by what she does. And, uh, you know, I encourage everybody to go out and Google Linda Powell and Mossberg. Uh, there's some great stuff out yeah. there. And follow awesome her on stuff. Facebook. It's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it really is. Hey, it's time to take another break, Bill, and uh, we'll be right back. We've got another guest coming up here. Um, another good one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, with uh, a clothing line that we kind of like. Absolutely. We'll be right back here on Outdoors with Larry Ray. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry. 